Chad Brendel, Bearcat Journal, here with the offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, Mike Dembrock. Coach, I've had about two weeks now. Um, overall thoughts on, on where things are offensively? I mean, I like the progress we've made so far. I mean, I think we're uh, light years ahead of where we were this time. In, well, we're really this time, but in the spring when we were really installing everything for the first time. Uh, this is kind of our kind of second and a half go round at kind of installation and guys understanding things a little bit better, uh, learning how to kind of cope with different looks and different things that the defense is doing. And I think we're picking things up really well. Uh, I see progress uh, really in all areas, and uh, it's been very encouraging so far. Offensive line for basically new starters, Gout and Corey moving from right tackle to left tackle. How have you felt those guys, first team has done so far, and then developing depth behind them, obviously, maybe the biggest question. Yeah, I think solid. Uh, you know, they've done a nice job in, in most situations. What we're working towards, and I know what Coach Crook is trying to get those guys to understand, is we we need them to be dominant. And, uh, you know, we're a, we're a line-oriented program uh, on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. So uh, when we need to, we need to be able to run the football, and uh, those guys are a big part of that. Uh, I think our consistency's got to get a little bit better, uh, but there's progress and uh, positive signs that we're headed in the right direction. Quarterback, figures. Quarterback uh, Hayden seems to be maybe a, a little bit ahead, but Ross has has played pretty well as well. What do you think on on that spot and those two guys? Well, I think it's the same thing. I think it's uh, both of them are absolutely still. Uh, hard at it and competing with each other. Uh, it's the consistency of uh, making good decisions and caring for the football and, and really, quite frankly, leadership of the offense and ownership of the offense and kind of taking the reins. I mean, I want, I want those guys to be me uh, on the field uh, and in charge. So I want that type of ownership uh, by them. And, uh, you know, it's a process. Uh, they're both a little bit shy about doing that. We're trying to get them out of their shell a little bit more uh, and have them kind of take that role on uh, for us offensively. But uh, I think it's been good. I think there's progress being made, uh, and those guys are battling it out. You talk taking care of the football. I'm sure when you popped tape in from last year, it was uh, glaring that that wasn't really a strength. Uh, how do you work that out of them, get them into that mindset of making the right throw and getting the ball out on time and, and things like that? Yeah, you just got to make sure it's every detail is harped on every second of the of the practice and uh, that they understand um, quite literally that, uh, you know, they make or break who we are offensively by how they care for the football. And uh, possession of the football is, is, from an offensive standpoint, is the most important thing that you have and uh, it's got to be cherished and you can't give it up one guy that if i if i had to maybe say somebody that stood out more than anybody at camp so far uh khalil lewis got to be comforting to have a guy in the slot that you know third and six he's going to be able to run a good route get open and make the catch yeah just i mean his his progress from where we were in the spring till now has Massive. been remarkable and, and uh, all it does is just you know give you a smile on your face because you're, you're absolutely right it's a comfort blanket to the not only the quarterbacks but to me uh, as a play caller to know that I've got a guy like that that can work people over in space and you combine him on one side and maybe you, you know Mike Boone on another side of the field and uh, let those guys work over uh, people underneath and you've got yourself something special going on so love the versatility that he's shown so far uh, I like his aggressiveness going for the football uh, that we've seen so far so very positive signs from him you mentioned Mike Boone one thing I, I've been really impressed he was a slot receiver in high school so he can catch Jared Dokes has also shown really good hands out of the backfield that's got to be a nice weapon to know You've got two playmakers. You can get out in space. They're going to catch the ball and be able to make some plays. No question. And that, that's going to be a big part of what we do. I mean, we're going to get the ball to the backs, uh, whether that's handing it to them or throwing it to them or screen passes or whatever. We, we've got to utilize the talents that those guys have. And, you know, they've got the legend Gino Gadouli throwing to them every day. So, of course, their hands are improving and they're doing a nice job with that. The Mike Warren's been pretty impressive for a young guy as well at the running back spot. Very, very impressive to me. And uh, love his toughness, love his competitiveness. Uh, just has that it that the really good running backs have. He's got a knack for finding a crease and, and then getting his pads in a proper position to fall forward when he's done. You're a tight end guy. You've coached that position for a long time. What are you seeing out of this group? Uh, Cog's out for a couple days, but he should be back soon. And and the younger guys, Tagora and, and Labelli, making some plays. Yeah, I mean, those guys are coming along. I'm really impressed. You know, uh, 
you know, Cogs, you mentioned, is a, is a staple of what we're going to do offensively, just not only from a leadership standpoint, but his solid play and his consistency as an inline blocker and, and really uh, with the train changes he's made to his body, even getting out in space and doing some things. And then uh, Josiah uh, Degara has just really come along as a route runner. Uh, and I've liked some of the things that he's shown us from being an inline guy. So that versatility at that position is really key. And then you throw Bruno in there and uh, he's young and trying to figure out why the field is so narrow. Uh, but getting there, getting there, little by little, doing a nice job. Finally, the outside guys, uh, you've got a, a solid guy in Devin working on, like, Geddes and Rollins and Paul and those guys. It's finding somebody that can, can take the top off the defense and stretch the field, something that you're, you're still looking for and trying to, to – pinpoint yeah definitely we need we need more production out of our outside receivers and uh, Devin we're comfortable with we know what he can do uh, he's gonna make a lot of plays for us this year we're gonna rely on him quite a bit that other spot is a little bit in flux and uh, there's got to be some guys that kind of emerge and that's really what this training camp one of the things the keys for us is, is developing that guy to the field uh, whether that's Geddes whether that's JJ Pinkney, um, you know who's shown some signs uh, and there's other guys too that have done a nice job so uh, that's an emphasis we're gonna have to find somebody who can make some plays to the field uh, so we don't get so restricted either into the boundary or just throwing it to the slot receivers that we've got a big playmaker out there at the at that position and that's one we'd like to take advantage of if we've got the right guy all right thanks a lot coach appreciate, appreciate it appreciate it bro good stuff man thanks man